Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay. Hi, I'm back again. Oh my gosh. How many videos is this today? Like, just, what a day to wear a yucky outfit. Usually I'm a little better than this. But anyway, we're going to distress this front door. So I um, thought I would bring you guys along because it's an unusual thing that you just don't see every day when people are painting but you might drive by and see them in the neighborhood done and so um, we're gonna give it a whirl and see how it goes hopefully I have enough signal and all that and hopefully it's not too bright for you guys to be able to see but we're gonna give it a try anyway we're at least gonna get it started so what I wanted to show you first of all if you don't know this trick I take a paint pan I stick it in a large a tall kitchen trash bag. Okay, so you stick it down in there and we tie a knot. This is always such a good trick and everybody's always like, wow, when we're on a job. So I always show people this if I remember. And then we tie a knot, okay. Then we put in the, so this is, this is the pan, but see it's full of air now. So we always just rip a little hole in the back, like that. Okay, just a hole, whatever. And then now your paint will lay right in here then when we're all done, if we're coming back the next day, we untie the knot, bring the bag up over top and tie it off and you're good to go for the next day without having to wash out your big roller. Little rollers, the small little three inches and the um, brushes, we always wash those out. So anyway, just there's just that little tip. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my pan. You guys can't see me, but just know I'm putting a little water in my pan and I'm getting in here, get a little bit of the black paint. I just wanna thin it out. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look at this door. Um, Angie, can you push it shut? Just yeah. Oh, I might need your ladder, actually. Are you using it? No. Okay. I have one right here, I can use it. Okay. okay. All right, I'm gonna steal her a ladder out from underneath there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and then if you push that shut just a little bit. Okay, all right, we're all set. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, you guys can see, um, <clears throat> you always wanna look at your door as if it were wood. So like this piece right here would go left to right and it would stop right here, okay? So we wanna tape that. We always finish with the up and down. So I'm gonna do my center part first. So I'm going to tape this. I don't always tape, um, like if I'm staining or something like that, I don't tape, I just use my brush marks. But in this instance, because I'm using paint, so it's a little heavier bodied, I'm gonna go ahead and tape. Not crazy because we just painted it, but just get a little tape on there, just to create my lines and I don't have to sweat it. If it bleeds a little bit, it bleeds a little bit. And I'm taking it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm taping on the outside of this, line okay of like the inlay can you guys see me might need to take you up just a smack more there all right and then i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so just oops just a quick tape job here okay and then we're going to take it straight down angie i'm going to push on your door a little bit because okay. i'm putting tape down she's painting the other side <laughs> so we have two people here, but I know I promised you guys I would show you. I don't know that I can do the whole door because I don't know how my stuff's going to dry out, but I thought I could show you a little bit. At least I think you guys would be able to figure it out. If I do it in two videos, you might not catch the second one. So I'm not really burnishing. I'm not rubbing hard here on this tape. Um, and typically I do like all of the vertical stuff first. This will have to go left to right also. This isn't your typical squared off door. That's what I'd rather have shown you guys. This one's a little bit more involved, but um, we should be able to, we should be able to get it figured out here. So I'm thinking if I were a piece of wood, I would probably go about like that. So we're gonna go that way. And then I'm gonna try and catch that angle again and go that way because we kind of want to mimic what wood would do if it were wood. Um, and then down here, I'm just going to treat it like it was a piece of wood um, that they cut out. 
right? Yes, because that's got little angles in it. So um, how can I do that? Would I just pull down? Let me think. Let me think a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to pull down on it. Um, <clears throat> so, all right, so I have us all taped off and I'm just going to do the center part first. I have black exterior paint um, and I have a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan. You probably can't see, but there's just a little bit of water to keep me really, really thin. I'm getting up here into the, the dryness, the dry part of my pan, and I'm wiping off a lot. This looks navy blue, but it's black. Um, and I'm getting off as much as I can. Actually, I'm gonna use that box because there's still a lot on here. I'm gonna use that box and get rid of a bunch too. And then let's see what happens here. I'm gonna go up. All right, so I kinda wanna treat um, I kind of want to treat this like this direction. Okay, we'll flip my brush and pull it out here. Okay. Pulling it out. I'm a little bit heavy, a little bit light, like that. Okay, so now we have our wood piece. Then we come in at the top here and pull and pull. Okay, pull away from your tape so it doesn't ooze under. Okay, like that. And you're creating almost like graining just with black paint. Okay, all right. So then I got a little bit up here. Okay. So then I need to pull my tape here. Really, let me get a little bit more. I kind of like that. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to pull my tape and I'm going to dip my brush again and we're going to go vertical. So I want to dip in where the water is and then I've got to get rid of it again. And I can kind of bring you guys down just a little bit. Just a little, ooh, a little bit. All right, so now. We're gonna go vertical. So I'm here and I'm just gonna pull down and treat it all as if it were one piece of wood. Mm. Oh, not, okay, there we go. There we go, okay, and we're gonna go up. Okay, down, down like this. You too. There we go, okay. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. And then we're going to go up. And then I'm going to try and make it go down here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And of course the neighbors are going to mow right now. <laughs> of course they are. Oh, man. So you're not gonna, oh, bye, Doug, thank you. Okay, send me your time. What? Send me your time. Okay, all right, so can you guys see, kind of see what I'm doing? Oh, hopefully he'll go to the backyard. <laughs> okay, so let me, I don't like this. I went crooked. So careful, All right, and I'm gonna get a little bit here on the, Mirror part or the glass part in there reminds me of a mirror. There we go. And you want to be inconsistent. Like I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be kind of messy, you know? Kind of messy. Alright. And Angie's over here going, what are you doing? I worked so hard to make it perfect. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've done to your perfectly painted door. You're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. So I've got some heavy and some light, and I can come back and add in whatever I need to. Um, I can't really tell, can you? I'm hoping you can tell. Okay. Oh, and the lawnmower guy. I can't you believe it. Oh well, I just have to keep going. Now, this part, where's my guy? This part, I feel like needs to go left and right. Wash this back. You guys can see that or not. 
gently wash them back because our red is pretty fresh. Okay, I'm gonna take this up and down. Okay, and then I'm going to run this just this little bit right here, left to right, like that, frame it out. Okay, yeah, he is going to the backyard. Good. do a little bit light in the beginning just so I get a feel for it and then I get a little more aggressive but yeah it's looking really good so now I'll pull this tape and I'll pull this tape and I'm gonna work my way down in slivers, but we do, when it's round, you have to. Okay. Got that off. All right. Oh, I'm really crooked. I got it really, really crooked. Right I'll go back in with the base coat and straighten that up. You guys can't see it anyway, but it is crooked. So, all right. Dipping into my paint again. Dipping off, getting rid of it. So I have a very dry brush. We tip you down and we're gonna work our way on down. Oh yeah, you guys can see. Except when I get in the way. Okay. So, <clears throat> so here we're gonna treat these panels. Can you see? Yeah, thank you. Let me tip you just a little bit more down. There we go. All right. So the, this is more like a typical door here. Oops, I got a spot I missed right there. Okay. So where the bevel is, you know, you can just take that off, but I'm just going to kind of drag a little bit, trying to keep my brush in line. You can take that off, you guys, if you're like, I would tape it if I were you, okay? But I think it'll be fine. I just did a couple of thicker spots. If she doesn't like it, you just go back with the base coat and tone it down. All right, then your centers are always vertical. And if you don't know for sure, look at your own wood door. If you have a wood door or Google or uh, do a um, Pinterest search for a real wood door, and then you'll know, um, you know, which way to go, which way to drag. Okay, so I'm pulling this one now this way. All right. I'm pulling that one that way. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I need some more. It's so weird. You need it's so dry, but you really need it. Okay, then I'm going to do the bottom one, which is going to go straight across. This. And then I'm going to have it back the other way. And then for this part, I'm really, um, for this part, I'm going to lay a tiny piece of tape over. I know I just painted it, but it should be fine. Just a little teeny, just a little marker for me. Just a little one. Pull down. Get that part out of there. Take my tape off. I'm going to lay it down here, straight across, and I'm going to go up. Okay, there you go. There you go. And then I can pull this tape off now. Okay, and then all I have to do is go vertical. Can you see? <laughs> this is the craziest thing you've ever seen. 
because it's really cool, you guys. It really looks cool in person. So I'm just dapping off on my box, on my old tape, and then we're just going to go, uh, again, I could lay tape on there, but I'm just going to try and hold it as vertical as I can. I'm pulling up, pulling up. Pulling up, work my way down. Now I do not want heavy start and stop marks, so I'm really light handed here, okay? Really light handed. And it doesn't need a lot, you know, it's busy enough as it is. So, okay. Remember, I've mixed my paint with water about half and half. Pull up, pull up. 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 Barely touching up here at the top because I don't want an actual start and stop line. Okay. And then in here, whoop, is that you or the wind? Okay. And then in here, it gets a little um, tricky around these things. Ideally, it's nice to have them off are not off so we're gonna go around as best as we can let me dip okay can you see <laughs> trying to stay out of your way okay let me get over here just to run that along that edge I'm being real light in here because I'm nervous Nervous about messing it up, and then I keep on working my way up. And when I go up, I, I like feather it down, and then I, I my bristles are really touching about an inch before I really apply pressure to keep that start stop line from being a sharp line. Okay, I'm sorry about the mower guy, my baggy shirt. <laughs> oh, you guys, what a day I've had. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Come up here. I'm gonna just pull down. Oops, a little shaky. Down, down. And then over here, I'm gonna pull down, down, and down. Go up and just whatever to fill in to where it's all kind of the same. Um, yeah, like that. And then when you do the top part, you just follow the, the line of the wood, the grain of the wood. So if it's going left to right, you'll go left. Oh, I didn't put you up. Oh shoot, you're looking at my feet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, come up. Come up with me. <laughs> okay, let me dip this again. So I'm working on the trim now. Um, so I'm gonna go left to right because that's the way your board would lay. So sorry, you guys. I'm paying attention to what I was doing. All right, like that. So again, this is exterior paint, semi-gloss. A little bit of water in it. Um, then we're gonna go down with your boards that go down. Side here a little bit. Okay. So we're going to come over here. Oh, I've got to do the inside boards. Going down, going up. Okay. See how easy it is? You might want you to see. Because when you walk up to someone's door that has that done, it's like, wow, how'd they do that? But really, if you follow the markings of the door, the way your wood panels would lay, you're really just kind of creating that look as you go. So. The main thing is to follow the wood grain. You don't want to go this way on a board that's going like that. So that's probably the main advice I can give you is to keep your brush going the direction that your um, wood would lay. And then if you get places that you don't like, 
go in with your um, base coat or you can try to wash it off like I did. I've got one spot up there I don't like on this sideboard. Um, but um, you can either add the base coat color over it gently, really gently, or um, you can try wiping it. I'm afraid if you wipe it too much, it'll smear. Like I've got some spots here I don't like, so I'm gonna go back with the base coat. But I didn't know how else to do that little arch right there. So anyway, that was a tough spot. Um, okay, so are you up or down? Put you down here so you can watch me finish it out. Okay, so I'm kind of clear to the bottom, and I'm going to pull up with that. Okay, and then I need to do the side here. So I just need to get a little color on that side, is all. And I have hardly used, you guys, I used one dip of black. I dipped my brush once in the black and patted it off in my pan of water and I've not gone back into the black since. So you hardly use any paint at all, really. Okay. Just remember to keep on these long boards like this, remember to keep your start and stop marks really fine. Don't push hard right out of the gate. Don't have your brush loaded and push really hard or you're gonna create a line, like all the way across, and that doesn't look very good. You don't want anything that doesn't look very good. Okay, so let's see here. Let me move you over. I'll do this side. Go up and meet where we stop. And up. down really low not sure I can get you guys down yeah I can okay all right we're going down low how low can we go all right dipping in getting rid of it <clears throat> going left going left to right here to stay with the wood grain of the boards okay all right all right and I have a little up and down right there, a little cubby in there, and I think that's good. Okay, so you guys are probably curious how I'm gonna fix my wiggly spots up there. So, Angie, do you have, still have that red out? Hey, Angie, do you still have the red out? Okay, can you grab, oh, Doug already took the chip brushes, so I can't show you guys. She's got her brushes wet. Um, <clears throat> so I can't show you how I would do it. But what I would do is put my red paint on and come in here and drag the red paint just over top of that black. And it might be a go back and forth thing where, you know, almost almost might have to solid paint that and then re-drag it because I don't like that mark and I got to wiggle. It might be fine, but, you know, probably when you stand back it looks fine. But that kind of bugs me. I'm a little heavy. I stopped a little short up there. Stopped a little short up there. Let's just go ahead and fix it. If you guys are watching, I'll show you how to fix it. I just need to take it all the way. there but in the picture like from a distance the heavy spots are kind of what show up if you have it all so light 
then the people driving by won't see. So it's okay to have a little bit of heavy. As a matter of fact, I probably need to add in a little bit of heavy, but I'd really like the homeowner to say, you know, I want more. Because it looks nice. So yeah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let her see it. So anyway, that's all I have. Exterior, base coat, whatever your color you want your door to be. You could do it with whites, you could do it with browns, you could do it with any color, really. Um, just use, make sure you're using exterior paint and a semi-gloss when you're painting outside. That way, you know, if the birds make a nest over your door or whatever, it's easy to clean. You don't want anything um, flat or satin, not on trim. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. So if you guys have any questions, I'm not seeing any questions. I'm just seeing lots of watchers. So if you're posting questions, I'm not getting them. So I'm not, it's not that I'm ignoring you. I see several that are watching, um, but not any, not any questions. So if you have any questions, post them. I'll be happy to answer and I will take some pictures when we're all done. It's really a fresh paint job. She's just finished painting it about an hour ago, maybe half hour ago. So it's really fresh. Um, and so we're going to do some more when I get back the week after next. So, but I wanted to do a little bit and show you guys and let the homeowner see. So anyway, whoops. So that's all I have. I'll see you later. I don't think I'll be doing any more lives today. <laughs> so there you go. There's that. Have a good day. Bye.